Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first video we are going to have for chemistry. So as the first lesson, we are going to touch the basics. Today we are going to balance chemical equations. So I'm going to take for granted that you already know how to balance simple chemical equations. But in the IMAT, on the IMAT, you are going to have many difficult equations you will have to balance in about one minute, one minute and a half. But before we begin, I highly encourage you to go to entermedschool.com and to download the 90 days free study schedule you're going to have to use in order to follow me in those videos. Because those videos are going to be only a recap for the study material you're going to learn by yourself from the Cambridge or Pierce Pearson's books. So make sure to go to entermedschool.com and to download our free study schedule. So I'm going to briefly mention how we use in those two steps to actually solve and balance simple equations. And then I'm going to tell you the actual method you're going to use on the IMAT exam to balance equations. So let's begin. So we have S8 and S1. We have S on one side, 8 on one side, one on this side. Oxygen, we have two on this side and two on this side. Using the trial and error method, you should pick one of those and balance the other side, and then pick one of those and balance this side. What do I mean by doing that? Just if we have S, we have solved for A times, and this one have one time. So times eight means the coefficient going to be eight. Then we have oxygen two times, so eight times two means 16. We have 16 on this side and 2 on this side, so we should multiply it by 8 and to get a coefficient of 8 on this side. And now we have a balanced equation. But what are we going to do when we have much harder questions to balance and we will have only one minute on the IMT exam to actually solve them? Because when you have more complicated equations, you're going to have to solve in a very specific strategy, especially when you have only one minute for each question for each question on the IMAT. So make sure to follow me on the next equation. Step one will be mentioning each species with its own letter. So let's do it. A, B, C. Great. So step two will be to actually treat the equation like a regular mathematical equation. So let's put an equal sign on top of the arrow and actually, actually going to solve using a very simple method. We have on this side 1a, because we have 1 aluminium and we abbreviate it using the, word, using the small letter a. On the other side equals, we have 2 aluminiums, so c equals 2, a equals 2 times c. Great, but in order to create a set of equations, we have to keep going and to create more equations. So let's go to the letter b. We have two oxygens, so 2B equals 3 on the other side, so 3C. And because this is a set of equations, we know that all the variables are depending on each other. This is why we can just say A equals 1, equals 1, and then see what is the ratios between the other letters. So if A equals 1, C must be half. And if C is half, to be equals three times half, it means that B equals three quarters. But one problem is we can't have fractions inside the equation because you don't have half oxygen and you don't have three quarters of aluminium oxide. So the only thing we have left is just to find the common denominator between the following variables and then just to see if we are correct. So if A equals 1, C equals 2 and B equals three quarters, we are going to multiply everything by 4 because this is the common denominator. So this is times 4 equals 3, this is times 4 equals 2, C equals 2, and this is times 4 equals 4. A equals 4. So we are just going to take the following numbers we just found and we are going to put them inside our equation. So C equal 2, B equal 3, and A equal 4. And now we should check again to see if we are correct. So we have 
four aluminium, four aluminium. We have six here and six here. Every year you have at least one equation you're actually going to balance, so make sure to follow the following method. I'm going to link a link for Khan Academy below, which I took the following method. And this is the perfect method to actually study and to solve and balance equations on the IELTS exam, because you have one minute for each question, and the following method is very quick. So thank you for watching me, I will see you next time.